Playing his probably first game that got him on the ground from the start. Dwayne yeah. Broom, it's good to see. Yeah, and I think that's the way to go about it, Eric. And if he doesn't measure up, you can put him back on the bench, can't you? Ooh, with a couple of left and hooks thrown in. Peters in the end got the knock down to the front, coming out Senjov, handball, backwards to gun, standing start, gets around onto the right boots, wobbly kick towards half forward, Murray, and uh, also up against him, Turner, handball back towards Peters, handball back to a standing start, and uh, they got rid of it quickly towards O'Leary, had to work to the front, but uh, standing his ground and taking the mark is Scott Thompson, and he takes the grab, kicks on quickly, looking for Glenn, and it's okay, that's Glenn Thompson, there's three today, at half back he gets away, and runs away from Delang, gets it back towards Dwayne Broom at centre half back, and he takes the mark. Goes to the left boot, straight up the ground, looking for Andrews, punched away by Hill, great roving Gad, handball on, was okay, got it back as well as he kept running through the middle, and goes to the right boot, down towards Tyquin, doesn't sit for him, oh great pick up though, wheels back around on that left, he's usually pretty dangerous when he does that, but he's missed it to the near side, and one behind, the first score of the afternoon, and it goes to Banningburn, they're one behind, they lead it East Geelong, yet to score, that's on the Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Interesting tagging <coughs> exposition in the middle of the ground, Laurie. Uh, let's you keep an eye on it. Delahant is uh, obviously tagging O'Connor. And uh, well, it'll be important if you can hold O'Connor was pretty good last week, Eric. Too true. Stefanovski with the ball in the uh, defensive goal square. And waiting for a bit of movement, looking for the kick in. Now he goes. Goes wide to the uh, social club side in front, Andrews, but it's well read better by Hill, but the umpire said it was touch, so uh, play on. The ball through a series of handballs come back to Hill for East Geelong. He drives to centre wing. One-on-one -on -one out there off the hands of Senjov. The ball is uh, over the boundary line. True centre wing right uh, at the interchange steward area where the players uh, come on and off. Whistle on play. Oh, it's just the umpire blowing time off. We're off again. In it comes. Hayes doing the ruck work on the centre wing. Gets a handball down. Good pick up there by Co uh, Colleger for uh, Bannockburn. But uh, there's Purcell meeting the ball at half back for East Geelong. Sees uh, Peters. Well, can't handle it in the middle of the ground. Now he gets it. Gets clear of his opponent. Drives it long to the forward pocket. O'Leary's led to the pocket. He kicked a few good ones from there last week. But David White, excellent uh, spoil and runs away now. Three bounces. Gets the half back flank. Well, he's run a fair distance before the fourth. But the umpire said it's OK. He goes to uh, centre half forward position. But uh, Reuter, Purcell and company for East Geelong get the ball through the boot of uh, Reuter. But off hands at centre half forward, it's uh, Colleger. Colleger for Bannockburn, runs to the centre. Drives over half forward now, but all in the way there is uh, at, uh, Williams. Carrying on from last year's good, last week's good form. Gets it to centre wing, but Delahant is there. Picks it up for Bannockburn. Long sweeping handball to half forward flank. It's, uh, who was it? Uh, looked like East gets the ball, gets it into half forward but at the moment it's really going from half forward to half forward because uh, East Geelong in the defensive area through Rundle have uh, got the ball but gee, good uh, smothering there from the Bannockburn forwards, keeps the ball in the forward zone and uh, at half forward flank it's been forced over the boundary line we've been playing four and a half minutes first quarter, one behind Bannockburn East Geelong gets a score boundary throw in, over the back Reuter, can tap it down to the advantage of yeah, Peters, cool. and got it in front of him kept it going, got a handball running past pretty slick to Gunn, it's okay, Gunn got it from centre wing towards half forward, Hayes has to work back, now back towards Perkins at the front of the pack, it's two on one if he can get it away to Gad, he can't do so effectively, now Gad under pressure, tried to get the handball away, Peters in there fighting hard for it as well, shuffled out towards centre half forward, Gad pushed off the ball through the middle, was uh, Gunn again, tried to get it away, Thompson in there also that's Luke Thompson, There's a few Thompsons playing today Three for uh, Bannockburn and one for East, but they clear, and it's OK. They get it away, and it's Scott Thompson from half-back. Kick over the top towards Giles. It's two on one. Pilgrim gives him a shepherd, and he can run away. Williams makes up a bit of ground, puts him under pressure. Giles gets his kick away, long towards Tyquin again. Stefanoski, good punch away, roved at the front of the pack by Andrews. Handball back in board, and backwards towards Ronnie Pilgrim. Ronnie usually pretty good off one step, goes now long, and I think he might have missed his heart and kept it in. Yes, Harding's he has. Done. Good mark on the goal line. Well, in fact, it in front of the behinds, and he has taken the mark. Fred Harding, he'll be on a uh, he'll be on a fair angle though. Be right on the boundary line in the left forward pocket for Bannockburn. On got the right side for got a got to have a go there, Laurie, don't you? I think he'll have a go. I think he'll just run around a little bit and kick, snap over his shoulder, wouldn't he, Laurie? Half a step to the right. Half a step to the right. Well, let's see how he goes. He's got uh, Dean Lynch pretty close to him. He's run, keep running in now. He's okay. come around and. He's got it. I think. Well, he's yeah. got it because nobody 
was uh, in front of the goal square for East Geelong and he's put it through to his first goal and the first for Bannockburn. They're one, one, seven. And they lead East Geelong yet to score. Six minute mark of the first term of Victory Trophy. His first quarter scoreboard. Stepanovsky actually touched it, Laurie, but he was a metre behind the line. That's Surely right. you would have been standing at the, be the worst on the line, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think he was a little bit uh, conscious of Wayne then and probably trying to play as close to him as he possibly can. Yeah. Look, 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 it's an interesting game at the moment, Eric. Uh, these, it's very crucial today for turnovers. I just watched if, if these turnovers are going to be very costly. It's a pretty even game. It's a pretty full on. Everybody's focused. And it's gonna be, we're going to be for one heck of a game here. Ball in the middle, Reuter, well, doesn't get the tap down, and the uh, umpire has picked a free kick He's not against, happy. against Reuter for putting the knee up. Well, I, uh, I wonder how you keep your balance when you go for the... Uh, they the both rack. put their knee up, didn't they? Yeah, well, uh, Thompson, however, has the free kick for Bannockburn. Steve Thompson goes wide to half-forward flank. Third in line was... Uh, is it uh, Dylan? Can't take the mark. Oh, great tackle oh. there. Well, I still say it was a great tackle, and the umpire has decreed it was too high. Well... Uh, that's a mystery. The lead is on there from Andrews. In front, can't take the mark, comes to ground. Connors picks up the crumbs. Over to Harding. Oh, a lovely little handball. Harding to Collager, and Collager runs in an open goal, and it's missed. Opportunity went begging there, I'd say, Laurie, because uh, open goal. Lovely little handball from Brett Harding to Troy Collager offline. One, two, eight, Bannockburn. East Geelong yet to score on the victory trophy scoreboard, and that's eight minutes. Nice bit quarter. of work from Brett Harding. Pretty, in. pretty good pressure, too, though, from East Geelong's defence to... Uh, Keep it on them in the back line. There's Stefanoski from fullback goes to the outer side, the southern side, looking for Reuter. Puts his hand up, can't take the mark. Rose it himself, tried to get the handball away, got a high tack. Oh. Well, he said he's used the elbow as he's tried to bring his hand up there, the umpire. So he's given away the free kick to Thompson. And he's got it at a half forward for Bannockburn. Steve Thompson will be thinking, how easy is this? Yeah, the, this umpire is confused. He's his, his, his mate there. <laughs> yeah. The other umpire has no idea what to do. The umpire has given the decision. He's taken off. <laughs> well, he's given the free kick to... Must be... That's not to Thompson. Well, it's Thompson was next to him. Oh, dear. Anyway, it's Broom with it. With the left foot kick towards the lead of Andrews. Punched away by Hill. Road by Connors. Back to Collager. Dropped the footy. Got some support. The drain is still there. Andrews wanted to get around on that left boot. Great smother. And still kicked away, though. Stefanoski in front. Rove, Peters... And he's got a bit of support per still on the last line defence. Got Marcus. He goes to him one-on-one -on -one with Giles. Marcus in front. Good mark. Good mark. And he was in good form last week, Eugene Marcus. And again, takes a good mark at centre half back. Wants to play on quickly. Gets a right foot kick long towards Hayes. In front, Gad. Punched away. Needs a rover at the front. O'Connor was there. Got uh, tackled as he tried to get his kick away. Guns also there fighting hard for it. Some support to Gibson. Gibson kick around the corner towards half forward. Murray getting back there. Turner. Who's it going to bounce for? Turner getting back there, just tries to push it on towards the boundary line, does well. Good defensive play by Mick Turner over near Laurie to go at his canteen. And it is out of bounds for a throw in. About 45 minutes around from East Geelong's goal. And uh, they trail at the moment 1 2 to no score. Boundary throw in. Hayes is going to do it for East. Thompson over the back to Hayes, lo loses the football. Dallahan, blind turn, goes with the right boot towards centre wing. Reuter stands his ground, gets a good little shepherd from Williams as well. And uh, Ronnie Pilgrim plays for the free. Doesn't get one, Ronnie. Different umpire. <laughs> Reuter <laughs> from centre wing. Leads on. Oh, had to stretch Murray. Got a push in the back from Turner. Came a, bit, a little bit too late there. And Nathan Murray will take it. So Nathan Murray now from half forward. Social club side. Goes long towards O'Leary and Hayes. They both go up. Need a rover at the front. Perkins is there for Bannockburn. Pushes O'Connor off the ball and sees it over the bench line again. They... Seem to be getting players to the foot of the ball, though, Bannockburn, don't they? And East Geelong haven't got them at the moment. I, I just don't see that as a b good option with uh, Sean O'Leary and Hayes running, you know, attacking the same football. They've got to spread themselves out and make sure that uh, one's up away from another and gives, gives you that extra option there. Well, Pe from the throw-in, Peters does the ruck work and uh, gets both fists to the ball and uh, over the boundary line. He's actually uh, gained five metres toward the goal. But I agree with your thoughts there, Laurie. Like, if Hayes is going to lead, surely O'Leary's got to crumb him. Exactly. Waiting for the ball to be uh, returned to the boundary umpire. Only a couple of metres from the behind post. Deep in the uh, forward line for East Geelong. In it comes. Up high there was uh, Glenn Thompson doing the ruck work for Bannockburn. Come to Sean O'Leary. A nice little chip pass. And uh, yeah, it was well done. Off balance. And uh, saw Peters basically directly in front of goal 30 metres out. And uh, Peters for East Geelong. 
has taken the mark. So surely the, the opportunity to put the first score on the board for East Geelong, if not a major one. Peters now moves in. Right foot kick looks he pretty good. It. The goal umpire hasn't moved too far, and that's the first goal for East Geelong. Their one goal, Bannockburn 1-2-8. That's on the Victory Trophy scoreboard, and we've been playing 11 minutes first quarter. Very handy goal, that. They needed that goal. They uh, only Bird had most of the play for the, the, the entire half of the quarter, and uh, it was important that when it went forward, they were going forward and just weren't getting results, and that, that could turn the tables a little bit, I think. So back to the middle, eight playing six. It's going to be Reuter again, just changing his run up this time to go with Thompson, coming from a little bit from the north and running next to Thompson now, stands there and gets the bump away towards Hayes, coming from St. Ford, got it away to Gibson, right foot kick long towards O'Leary, had to try and work his way to the front, White did well, got some support as well, Turner who backed away, and uh, also backed his teammate up, goes the left foot kick towards Thompson and Reuter on centre wing, Thompson stands there, takes the mark, oh, I tried to get on to Colliger, but it wasn't good enough, oh, held on to gun, no free kick, Colliger had to work his way back, he did so, little right foot kick up towards BJ Harding, can't take the mark, running through again, Colliger, who's wreaking havoc all of a sudden, Runs through the middle, goes to the right foot, kick, getting back there, Williams, and also Marcus, who goes up. It's touched off the boot, play on the call. Marcus, presence of mind to get it away to Williams, who goes 25 metres backward, but it's OK. He's found his coach, Dale Purcell, switches play. Goes out wide, looking for Rundle, finds him. And Sean Rundle just settles things down. He's going to go short to uh, send job. He elects to just hold the ball up now. He'll have to go longer. He's got a lot of uh, options at the moment. Goes now, and in front, might be able to take the mark, and does. I think that might be Gad, is it? No. Delahunt. No, it is Gad. Yeah, with the mark. Delahant standing next to him. Gad kicks laterally towards Colliger. Takes the mark. Plays on now. And goes the right boot. The lead on from Tyke when he goes in that direction. And chopping it off. Lynch, rove though east. Moose gets around on the left boot. And kicks it high in the air. Not good for the forwards. They'll all set themselves about 15 metres out. Now Pack develops. Who's got the ball? Hill gets tackled as he gets his kick away. Purcell just taps it to the advantage of Rundle. It's all right. He gets a handball to Stefanovski. Has to turn around, confronted by Tyken, gets a clearing kick up towards Marcus. Oh, well, but, uh, he should have turned around. He could have nearly marked it. Got some support. Giles kick off the ground, back towards Connors. Can't grab it, but uh, Lynch can for East Geelong, and he clears towards Dave Peters, who takes the mark at half back. Peters uh, takes the mark, and he just inside the boundary line. Moves now, drives it uh, towards centre wing. The lead there is from Murray. Can't take the mark. Good spoil by Turner. Follows up well, Murray. Picks the ball up, turns, drives now to centre half forward where he should be playing. Uh, but he's found Steve Thompson of Bannockburn in the way there, taking the safe mark. Thompson there, looking for options. Send job on the mark. Well, not a good kick, and he's kicked it straight to his opposition ruckman in Reuter. He's taken the mark in the centre of the ground. Handball to the running Purcell. Purcell for East, drives wide to half forward flank. The lead is on from uh, Sean O'Leary. He's about 70 metres from goal. Takes the mark. Now sees a lead further forward, and it's uh, Delang. Well, can't quite take the mark, Delang. And uh, the ball comes to ground. Good work there by... Uh, oh, he's kicked out of bounds on the full, I think. And uh, that was uh, Glenn Thompson on that occasion. So the ball now coming back into the forward line. Oh, Shane oh. Hayes, strong mark there ahead of uh, Perkins. He's uh, 40 metres from goal. He's on uh, a fairly acute angle. He's not far in from the boundary line, but uh, Shane Hayes likes kicking a goal and uh, not without a chance here, even though it's a difficult angle. 14 and a half minutes gone, first quarter. Pretty interesting football so far. Shane Hayes moves in. Good looking kick, but I think he might have, uh, has he snuck it in or just missed? Goal umpire goes across and, well, he's Ooh. given it a goal. So uh, kept everybody in suspense on that occasion. It is the second goal for East Geelong. Two goals, 12. Bannockburn, 1-2-8. It's on the Victory Trophy scoreboard, and that's 15 minutes, first quarter. Yeah, well, they looked a lot better then, too, uh, when they went forward, uh, Eric. I don't know what you saw out of the corner of your eye there. Shane Hayes came in from this pocket. Sean O'Leary went out of the half-forward flank, and they complemented one another. I mean, that's the way they've got to do it. He stepped in behind, kicked the ball. It actually went to Delang, went over, and Hayes, Hayes has since kicked the goal. Back in the middle, Reuter and Thompson do the ruck work once again. The umpire throws the ball in the air. Reuter stands his ground. Thompson gets it down. Senjov comes off the wing, creates a path. Connors is in there fighting hard for Bannock Burnie's on hands and knees. Reuter gets him high, does he? Yes, said the umpire. And uh, Kevin Connors will take the free. Pretty hard not to get chops high, though. He's only about four foot. He plays on now. Left foot kick, wobbly towards Tyquin. Stefanoski from behind, big thump away. And back towards centre half back. Lynch got some support. Gibson clearing kick towards centre wing. All Bannockburn, which way is it going to bounce? Is it going to bounce in for Gad? Yes, it does. Making a bit of ground. Gunn comes in, does well. And Peters, can he keep it in? No, he can't. And Scott. 
Scott Thompson comes over to make sure he and the ball are over the boundary line. Great play by Phil Gunn then. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in some areas of footy, there'll be a charge, Laurie. That's, that's a stupid part of the game at the moment, the interpretation. Boundary throw in. Murray and Thompson. Thompson in front. Murray to the front of the pack. Can't take it with him, O'Connor. Back towards the big man, Thompson, wrapped up. And uh, he's still on with the numbers. Slick handball to O'Connor. Has to be over the top of it. Still is. He's been wrapped up. Oh, the umpire said holding the ball. <laughs> and it will be a free kick to Bannockburn. Dallahant with it. Get 50 if he's not oh, careful. Yeah, he <laughs> gave it back just in time. On the point of the centre square at half back. Short little kick in board. Looking for Ronnie Pilgrim. Takes it right in the middle of the centre square. Here at Richmond Crescent. Plays on now. Right boot. Goes long towards centre half forward. Well, Marcus gets in. Chops it off in front of Tyquin. Dillon. Breaks away from one tackle, then slick little handball to Harding. Gets a shepherd from Giles, does he? Or just rock, strolls in and kicks his second. And that's what he's renowned for, roving off the packs. His second goal and the second for Bannockburn. They go to 2-2-14. Two, two, they lead East Geelong two straight goals, 12 points. And is on the victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 17 minutes played. Laurie, perhaps it's, it's our influence. The last time we saw Bannockburn, he got five, didn't he? Well, well, he's a good little player, Eric. And uh, obvious to me that... Uh, uh, East Geelong are very conscious of Tyquin and that when, as soon as that ball goes forward they're getting across there, getting in front of him but they're forgetting about number 14 and yes. uh, you've got to watch him very, very close he's an opportunist as Jason just called and uh, yeah, they've also got to watch him as well as Tyquin and if they don't, he'll, he'll finish up getting to the bag today Tyquin mightn't get many but that's what footy's all about In the centre once again umpire puts it up Thompson gets the tap away following through doesn't uh, get the ball now gets a kick to half forward Leading in the race is uh, Dylan. Can't take the mark. Follows up. Oh, tackled rather high, but uh, oh, don't know what chance he had of getting rid of the ball. Perhaps that's the free kick of the week. So uh, from the player, it was uh, Marcus. Get a handball to uh, O'Connor. Gets it to centre half forward. Two Bannockburn players for one another. Send off. Gets the crumbs. Handball across to uh, Gunn. Gunn drives it to a forward pocket. Mark not taken by Sean O'Leary, but uh, followed up very, very quickly. And uh, the ball offhand over the boundary line. And interesting in the reserves, uh, Jace, another O'Leary played more than half a game, and that's uh, great to see for East Geelong. Yes, Michael back wearing number 48. <laughs> tried, tried to be inconspicuous. Well, he was, yes. Not wearing his familiar number 24, which O'Connor's got on this season. But Michael O'Leary back from a knee injury, played his first game today in the twos and uh, got through, I think, unscathed. So there is the number 24. That's O'Connor. Got it down somehow to DeLang, who tried to get the kick away. Thompson, that was at Steve, had some support from Perkins, who got a kick around the corner towards Turner, couldn't take the mark. Thompson, that's uh, Luke for East Geelong. He gets it away quickly in towards the goal square, but White, standing in front of O'Leary, takes the mark, and he will try and relieve the pressure for the Tigers. So, White now likes to go to the social club side, goes there now, looking for, uh, well, looking for Gad or Andrews, but he picked out Nathan Murray, and he took the mark. 50 metres out from goal for East Geelong. So he'll try and set it back into the attack zone for the home side. He kicks it high. It's going to be uh, one for the, the big man. The big man. Hayes off hands. Peters is there as well. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Can he get around Perkins? No, he can't, but he gets away to Hayes. Presence of mind to kick it over his shoulder and kick the goal, kick the goal. if you don't mind. Oh, Shane Hayes has done very well, the big man, and has put it oh. through for his second goal and the third for East Geelong. Miraculous goal in the right forward pocket, kicking over his left shoulder and his second goal, the third for East Geelong. They go to three straight goals, 18. They lead Bannockburn 2-2, 14 on the victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard. And we've been playing 20 minutes in the first term. Quarter time, Shell Stadium, Geelong 7-2. Lead Adelaide 3-4. Good on you, Sam. Well done. You've, <laughs> you've rocked him into, into shape, I think, mate. 7-2 well, <laughs> to 3-4. Well, big Shane Hayes. He was a headache for Thompson last week. Uh, Jason looks like he's going to be a headache for Bannockburn this week as well. In the centre once again, neither Ruckman able to get the ball down and still in dispute there. Delahant uh, over the top of it. Connors dives on it, threw it out, intercepted by Hayes and just sheer strength. Hayes breaks a couple of tackles, handball across to Dale Purcell, off one step to half forward. Ball comes to ground, kicked along the ground there by Senjov, follows through. Oh, well done, uh, David White. Came and met the ball and uh, has forced it over the boundary. That's great defence, Laurie. If it's there, you've got to run at it. Yeah, fantastic, Eric. And the, the standard game's uh, great at the moment. Yes, it's certainly, uh, well, second and fourth, you would expect it, I guess, at this time of the year with the finals not that far away and uh, a very good uh, effort there in defence by David White. Out of bounds, comes in half forward flank. Thompson gave uh, his opponent there a fair push, but uh, Peters gets the ball running through the centre of the ground. Is uh, Reuter accepts a hand pass, goes bang, and uh, Andrew Reuter 
has joined the party at the moment. He's kicked his first goal and he's kicked East Geelong's fourth. Four goals straight, 24. East Geelong, they lead Banningburn 2-2-14. That's on the Victory Trophy scoreboard. We've been playing 21 minutes first quarter. Yeah, well, I don't think Andrew kicks a lot of goals. I think he doesn't run down the forward line that much. He uh, Actually, I was watching him there before, and uh, it seemed to be a bit of a game plan. He was actually dropping back, and I thought that might have been what he was going to do. But uh, I guess he's, he's felt that uh, the boys up there are doing well enough, and he can uh, take his chance to run the forward, and that was a nice goal. Does uh, Phil Egan need to bring himself on so he can have a bit of a look on the ground instead of from the box? Wouldn't do any harm, I wouldn't think, at this stage. Yes, they need a bit of a lift at the moment. Well, they've put uh, Andrews is in the middle now as well with Thompson, so he looks like he's doing a bit of uh, ruck roving. He's in there, Reuter and Thompson. Reuter stands his ground, tries to tap it away. Back towards Gibson, got a kick away. Torpedo punt, Senjov in front. He'll drop the mark he probably should have taken. Gad off the point of the centre square at half back. Goes towards Giles, foot race between him and Marcus. Pilgrim comes across to lend some support. Giles picks it up, can go short towards Dylan, does well and, and gets the kick to him. Dylan back in board, Hill can chop it off. Oh, well read by Andrew Hill over the top towards Lynch. Can give it back to Hill, Look does so. Hilly. They've run it. Beautifully from uh, half back. Goes now with a right foot kick high towards Murray. And also Turner works his way to the front. Turner pushed down. Gunn also getting across there. O'Connor sits for him okay. Gets a shepherd. Handball back to Murray. Can go back to O'Connor on the boundary line. Going to be under pressure from Broom. Gets a kick away back towards centre forward. Sends off against the couple. Thompson comes across. Oh, row beautifully off the bottom of the pack and slapped out by Peters. Goes back towards Senjov and also Harding. Harding gets it away towards Scott Thompson. He shuffles a handball over to Glenn Thompson. And they can run away through handball towards Dallahan at half back. Can he get around Thompson? Yes, he can. That's Luke. Gets it back towards Gad. Oh, he's against Thompson. He can't wrap him up. And he can break free, but it's a poor kick. Goes towards Giles in the banjo line. Giles might be able to keep it in. Didn't know whether he wanted to in the end. Sean Rundle was right on his hammer and he saw it over the banjo line for a throw in. Quarter time MCG, Sydney 4-1, lead Melbourne 3-5. Getting back to what you said earlier, Eric, I've been watching Della Hunt and O'Connor and, and Della Hunt's just moved off him a little bit and that could be well dangerous. Uh, Daniel's just starting to get a few kicks at the moment. Oh, that's a... Round five picked it too. That's a throw. <laughs> Delaying it was in the uh, after the ruck contest. It's going to come back to Della Hunt. At half back, he goes short towards Matty East. No, he likes to just hold it up, look for another lead. Hasn't got much on offer at the moment. He goes short now towards Andrews, and he takes the mark at centre wing in front of Reuter. Plays on now the drainer on that left foot. Goes towards centre half forward. Hill can punch it away. Peters, O'Connor there. Great little handball from O'Connor to Peters. Sets him free. Shorty goes from centre. Goes towards centre half forward. Hayes in front. The big arms go up, and he takes the mark. Too strong for Perkins. And Hayes takes it at centre half forward. O'Leary faced yeah, by White at full forward. He's not without a chance of kicking there. <laughs> well, he's looking pretty decisive as he runs in. He kicked two. He goes now. Good kick for distance. Eric's picked oh. it. He's kicked the goal, if you don't mind. Shane Hayes has kicked his third. Eric should be back coaching. And uh, that is the fourth goal for East. Uh, sorry, the fifth goal for East Long. They go to five straight goals, 30 points, and a lead Bannockburn. 2 2 14. Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 24 minutes gone. Laurie, you're in strife. He could take over special comments. He's, he certainly can. And look, 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 I just see Heinzie there. He's saying, get back to the North Shore, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, I, I see the danger. If, if uh, Delahant doesn't uh, get a little bit closer to O'Connor, O'Connor's a very good player. And uh, it, it, in the first few minutes, he stayed right with him. He's moved away now, and I think they're paying the penalty for that. Just come up to 25 minutes, first quarter. Umpire puts the ball up once again. Well, Reuter gets the tap clear. Comes down to uh, Rundle. Rundle, it was, on the left foot to half forward. From uh, the back there, it's, uh, well, good work there by uh, Thompson. Thompson, yeah. And uh, he gets it to centre wing. Oh, well uh, defended there by uh, the East along side. The handball comes to uh, O'Connor. The lead oh, is from O'Leary. A magnificent <gasps> lead, magnificent kick. And uh, David White only half a metre behind, <coughs> but that is enough. And uh, Sean O'Leary, well, I won't... Uh, <laughs> you won't back him I, I won't blo block my copybook and suggest <laughs> that uh, he would have a chance of kicking it, but... Uh, yeah, I'll tell yes. you what, it is a magnificent <laughs> kick from Sean O'Leary and uh, well I think the indications are from the goal up or certainly it's a goal and Sean O'Leary is pretty confident in himself so a very good last 10 minutes of this quarter to East Geelong, 6 goals straight 36, East Geelong they lead Bannockburn 2-2-14 on the victory trophy scoreboard and that's 25 and a half minutes. You, uh, you knew he'd kicked it because he ran straight back to the centre <laughs> of the ground didn't he yeah, Laurie? It was a magnificent <laughs> kick, it was straight off the boot, I'm sure he's done that from training many many times before Fantastic. So back to the middle, and this is where they're winning at the Eagles through uh, Sean Rundle, Scott Gibson, Dan O'Connor, Dave Peters, off Andy Reuter's uh, ruck work. Now and, uh, Dallahan's getting a bit of close to Daniel. Yeah, he has to now. too. He has to now. So back in. Reuter can get it down. 
towards Delahant. Tapped on by Gunn. Back to O'Connor. Fresh air shot by him. Reuters there, though. Can get it wide to Purcell by hand. He elect to go with a kick around the corner. Back towards Gunn. Also, oh, Purcell through the middle. Crashes through. Gets a great shepherd. Goes with the right boot towards O'Leary again. And White. Good thump away, White. Needs some support. Harding was there. He lost, left it behind. Now he's got it. Can he run away? Yes, he can. Runs across centre half back. Gets it to White. He's going to be mowed down by Delang. Gets a clearing kick under pressure. And out towards a vacant half back flank. And it is out of bounds for a throw in. So Really about the only place he could put that, Laurie. He's under pressure there. He certainly was, Eric. And it takes us back to last week's. Uh, the pressure from East Geelong is magnificent again at the moment. And uh, they're putting the pressure on the ball carriers. And that, uh, that makes it difficult. Yeah, certainly doing that. The ball out of bounds from wing and half forward for East Geelong. On the northern side, Thompson robes his own ruck work, gets a handball across to uh, Matthew East, runs through the centre with a bounce, drives it long on the left foot. Oh, Dylan run back nicely and just ran it a little bit better than uh, Andrew Hill on that occasion. And Dylan has taken the mark at centre half forward, just outside 50. Wayne's uh, calling for it. He's, he's calling for it long. He's uh, well, he's going to come from behind, but uh, oh, coming in from the side. Great mark there from Williams, and uh, they're really team tagging uh, Wayne Tigerman at the moment, Laurie, and doing it very well. He's yes. alongside. Loose in the uh, centre half back position is uh, Lynch, and Lynch of East Geelong takes the mark, goes to the centre, Hills run down, marks it, has a bounce, runs towards centre half forward, drives it long. The lead is O'Leary once again, but White, good tap from behind, gets it to ground, but running onto a Shane Hayes, can't pick it up, unfortunately. Uh, on the ground there is uh, Luke Thompson for East, he can't get it either. And David White following up has forced it toward the boundary line. And uh, all of a sudden, Bannockburn defence under real pressure in the last uh, four or five minutes of this first quarter. We've been playing 27 and a half minutes. Six goals straight east. Lead Bannockburn 2-2. Ball comes in. Front half forward flank was uh, running onto it there. Shane Andrews can't pick it up. And uh, finally, it is David White. He's going for that boundary again, but he's a long way further from it. The bounce uh, not kind for Bannockburn's Giles. Great tackle there on uh, Marcus, and the ball comes to ground once again. Rundle, uh, Gibson, I beg your pardon, can't pick it up, and uh, the ball has uh, been forced over the boundary line. Giles sort of uh, asking the odd question of the, the central umpire, not getting too much in the way of answers, and the boundary up by Reddy on through centre wing on the northern side here at Richmond Crescent, puts it back into play. Well, good uh, body work on that occasion by Rundle, the smaller fella, but uh, the kick is indiscriminate and uh, marked in the uh, fullback position by David White. Oh, he's gone for a short kick. Is it going to come off at Will Delahant? Picks it up, goes towards centre wing. It's pretty wide. Pilgrim, great use of the body, but unfortunately uh, didn't continue by taking the mark. And uh, boundary umpire has called it uh, just in front of our broadcast position here on centre wing. 28, 29 minutes gone, first quarter. So it's going to be uh, Thompson and also getting down there. Will Marcus will probably have to do the ruck work. Thompson. From the back, Rundle. Lynch tried to tap it on. Peters also. Senjov. Matty East. Breaks a tackle. Gets a little left foot kick over the top towards College. It's OK. And he takes the mark. Just inside the centre square on centre wing. And uh, just holds things up. Hasn't got much to kick to in the first instance. So he wants somebody to go wide. Tyquan gives him a lead. He goes towards Dylan and Thompson. Dylan goes up. Takes the mark. Handball off to Giles. Sets him a task. Short little kick in over the head of Tyquan. Over the head of everybody. Purcell can't take it. Now it's offhand, Stefanovski straight through the middle. And right foot kick towards Rundle in the middle. It's OK, they're running again. The Eagles waited for a handball, got it back towards uh, Gunn. He left it behind, got a bit of time to pick it up and measure it towards half forward. Murray gives him a lead. He goes in that direction, punch away by Turner. Murray did well on the siren. And that is the siren for quarter time. And uh, a pretty good quarter of football for East Geelong. They go to six straight goals, 36 at the quarter time break. And they lead Bannockburn 2-2. 14 and for East Geelong, three to Shane Hayes and singles to Sean O'Leary, Dave Peters and to Andy Reuter, while for Bannockburn two goals have been kicked by Brett Harding but it's uh, 22 points of difference at the first break, it's six straight goals 36 East Geelong, they lead Bannockburn 2-2-14